I want to talk about something that most people wouldn't even have thought about in the West. It's called dried fish. Um, the the thing with dried fish is it's very very common in the Philippines. In Tagalog, it's called dying, like dying, like as in dying. Um, and Cebuana was bawad. But either way, be aware that you will come across this smell. You'll recognize it when you smell it because you're like, what the hell is that? But it's extremely, extremely common. Um, for provincial people, it's more common than people near the meat markets and stuff. The reason being with dried fish, it's pretty obvious, they haven't got refrigeration. So it's a stable part of the diet. They need dried food because they've got nowhere to keep it stored. Um, a lot of people have no fridges at all. So you've got to bear in mind that dried fish can be part of the daily dish with the bit of white rice and the odd bit of soy sauce thrown in for good measure. But from a Western point of view, it stinks. <laughs> um, but I will say myself, eating some in Spain, because I, I didn't eat it in the Philippines, because... Um, People knew I didn't like the smell, so they would do it when I couldn't smell it, and then they would hide the food, so I was never aware they were actually eating. <laughs> but in Spain, we had it ordered when uh, we met up with some friends in northern Spain, and it was quite nice. But there's different different flavors, a bit of a quiet taste. But before you knock it, do try it, because I did actually enjoy the meal we had here in Spain. But I wouldn't say uh, the same thing about in the Philippines because there's more than one way of cooking it there's more than one way of uh, the flavor coming out so it can be a bit salty can be a bit sweet can there's different textures and flavors but you will notice the smell and from a western point of view it's quite strong all right thanks for watching